Good evening, everyone. Ending the weekend on a kind of damp note. Right now on First Alert Live Radar, we are tracking rain. Now it is uh, lighter, so to say, in Old Lyme. But then as you look towards New London, it is a steadier, moderate uh, rainfall rate there up towards Gales Ferry. And speaking of up, as we go up towards Enfield, starting to see some moderate rainfall with some additional showers building in. The big picture shows a couple of clusters but a lot more in the way of holes developing. So a little low out there, and you can keep up with radar trends through the rest of this evening through the WFSB First Alert weather app if you need to run some errands and didn't want to deal with the rain. So we'll get a little break in the action, but additional pop-up showers or even a few thunderstorms will be a part of the mix later on tonight. You can see that rain coming down in the distance, the, the streakiness, that is the rain coming down, the sheet of it to 52 degrees, and it is breezy in New London. As we take a look at the view in Windsor Locks, the rain is close to you as well, just north in Enfield, 54 degrees with a, a breeze coming in from the southeast. So as mentioned, fast forward first alert future cast at 9 p.m., there will be additional development, and we'll watch those showers and thunderstorms to see if they have any oomph to them. But so far today, conditions have not come together for strong or severe thunderstorms, but we'll always keep a watch for you. Additional development possible even after midnight for a couple of hours along the shoreline, and then we clear on out. So there's still a low-end threat, according to the Storm Prediction Center, for a strong thunderstorm across western Connecticut. Uh, but as mentioned, so far everything has behaved, but we'll continue that first alert a little bit longer and we will be watching to see if anything strong does develop if it were to become a strong storm wind gusts would be the issue and certainly any uh, travel outdoor plans could be impacted as we settle into this evening. The Connecticut River, it is uh, going to be up now through Tuesday, meaning above flood stage, so minor flooding will continue along there. Temperatures are warmest down to the southwest in the low 60s. Obviously, the wind's coming up from the south, and otherwise we're hanging in the 50s for several hours this evening. And there's off and on chances for showers and isolated thunderstorms. Looking ahead to tomorrow, yeah, that's some good stuff, right? Uh, low 70s for highs inland with lots of sunshine along the shoreline. We're expecting highs near 70 as well with plenty of sunshine to enjoy. So we just get through the rest of today and there will be improvements in our weather. So if you have a dog, the chance of wet paws very low. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it starts to creep back upwards again. And what else is going up? The pollen count will be high the next three days. The next three days are better weather will be uh, present with us. Late showers will be possible on Wednesday. Very mild temperatures above normal. The normal now is 60. Closer to that to end the week. A little unsettled. Often on chances for showers but not wash out kind of weather through the end of the week. We'll keep you posted on that for sure. And uh, right now next weekend uh, looks not too bad in the weather department. Of course we'll have new data to share with you coming up at 11 o'clock. Brian. All right. Thank you Joe.